Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Zev Fima with TheStreet.com, here live at the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, how's it going? Well, I got to tell you, I said last night that certain things have to happen. Right. We need to see Apple stabilize. We see Fang stabilize. We need to see something good, uh, PAL, or something good, China. Right. Uh, we haven't, don't have those yet, which explains the weakness. Uh, you get those, and you get PAL blinking, or something good, China, then you're going to get a rally. But until then, I think that you have to stay domestic, uh, can't be exposed to China, and the domestic has to be um, resilient to a recession. Right. And, and then that, that's really it. So, so with Powell, with you know China possibly blinking, we are talking. We're looking at we're watching G20 very closely, November yes. 30th, December 1st. That's a catalyst. But you know, okay. look, I, I have to um, look. Are we getting too negative? We've done our selling for action alerts. And we right. Can, you can come on our call tomorrow. I, I mean, hope we, you do. Right. We've we're near 10 percent cash. At this right. Point. We, you know, we have a, we've raised a huge cash. Right. Uh, 10 percent is high for us because it's a trust. We're supposed to be invested. We're not trying to game and tr trade. But right. that's pretty much we, one time. You know, uh, there were a couple times we got up to 15. Uh, when we really felt that things were uh, teetering. But that's not the case here. Uh, we are looking uh, after sell, 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 especially the industrials. Now right. we're looking. And you can hear about that on the call tomorrow. Right, and we, we are uh, you know um, looking at new names. We just updated yes. the bullpen yesterday. Yes. And also because we are talking about China, Jim, the last time the dollar was above 97 was back in July of 2017. Can you talk about why the strength of the dollar is such a well, headwind for Because everyone companies? think, well, first of all, everyone, the dollar strength is because people think the PAL is going to keep raising, right. which means that you, you know, you're talking about getting a 3% risk-free versus a 0.5% uh, risky Europe. I mean, no, that's German. You, you really want to be here, and I think that matters. Uh, the strong dollar means take down numbers, and I, I really want to emphasize something to people who are new to what I talk about. Take down numbers means sell stock. Now, uh, there, was, there are exceptions, NVIDIA today, a piece comes out, takes down numbers, and maybe NVIDIA can beat the takedown numbers. But right now, we're in the grips of uh, oil, takedown numbers, dollar, takedown numbers. Now, what's so funny is, is that oil down means take up numbers for a lot of companies, like the airlines for the, for the, uh, right. the cruise, cruises, but they're not doing that yet. That will happen. Don't be too negative. Don't be too negative. Remember, what we're talking about there is oil is a gigantic input cost for, a lot, you know, the Absolutely. airliners, the cruise lines, things like that. So if their input costs are going down, margins are. Right. I mean, look, Norwegian improve. was on the show last week, right. and Norwegian told a good story. But remember, discretionary spend is regarded as going down if the Fed keeps raising. Right. Exactly. Non-discretionary, no. Discretionary, yes. And you did mention I mean, that's the why the Best Buy downgrade today by Merrill, which was so hard. Uh, I am again. When oil goes down, I'm positive, not negative, okay? When the Fed blinks, I'm positive, not negative. We're setting ourselves up for a year-end rally, but not yet, but close. Right, and, and with oil being positive for other companies, in addition to the ones that it's just an input cost, I do want to just mention this. We have told, we've been telling members about this for months. There is sort of a reverse correlation between something like a retailer and oils because they're both competing for your dollars. You got to drive somewhere. Right. If oil's up, it's eating into your And oil's at 57. Income. I've been saying that oil could go to 49. Uh, and that's positive, not negative. People are overlooking every positive right now. Right. And that's silly. But remember, Apple and then Fang. We see those bottom, then I think you're going to get a reversal. Don't anticipate it. It has to happen. Right. And just because you did mention the NVIDIA call, I have to ask. They are set to report this Thursday. Are you a buyer ahead of the quarter or are you waiting to see what they say? I want to wait. I'm willing to miss the first 10. Right. Well, you missed the first 10 because the possibility that there'll be people out there who say, oh, my God, NVIDIA cut numbers, and cut their forecast. They're people who don't know. But I want to emphasize, we are looking to buy things, not sell things. Right. We have sold what we have to sell. We are looking for opportunity. Uh, that's different from a lot of other people who are just now selling. I think that it is ripe for opportunity right now, and we're doing some buying. Right. So, Jim, let me ask you, uh, we mentioned... Uh, we have two high of cash for what I see happening. Right. Especially if we do get, you know, right. So we're putting some money to work while we're talking. We really while we're write. talking. Oh yeah, absolutely. We do have a new trade yes. on the alerts going out. Make sure you check yes. it out. Um, I have to ask, uh, Caterpillar was your mad dash. Now I would, I would think that's. It, it seems like it was doing all right. But Cat any look. issue with China, the strong dollar. Well, I mean, there? that's look. Caterpillar strong dollar means Komatsu gets the orders. Caterpillar now, not you know, it's it's overstated how much of the business is China. It's okay. overstated. Uh, I happen to think that Caterpillar down here at these levels is interesting, but it's not what I want. It's interesting, but I mean, I would like American Electric Power more than Cat. Now, obviously, you want to buy Cat uh, because you think that the first quarter is going to be good. You know, do you want to speculate in Cat? That's okay, but 
Yeah, I'd rather speculate United Health. United Health, right? Heavily domestic, yeah. defensive. So yeah, but members, remember, though, check out what we have uh, to say. And about I it. am looking to buy, not sell. Right. And so, real quick, I just want to mention uh, the stock of the day today is Tilray. I know a lot of people are interested in cannabis. Right, and we're interested from the point of view of Constellation, which is a bullpen name. Right, thinking, huge stake in canopy. Thinking that they took the big stake in canopy. Uh, I see more and more companies nervous about not being in, in uh, cannabis. cannabis right. uh, not Constellation. Constellation's moved ahead aggressively. So, watch Tilray. Tilray is very overvalued. You can't borrow. But what I meant one time, I right. said I like Canopy, is you should be short Tilray versus Canopy, but you can't borrow Tilray, which is the real problem. You should sell Tilray. If you own Tilray, sell it, okay? All right, remember, if you want more coverage on Tilray, the cannabis sector in general, check out Kevin Curran over at realmoney.com. Oh my God, stop it. He's all over yeah. it. He also was talking Home Depot all day yesterday, which just reported earnings this morning. Jim, any, any thoughts on their release? Uh, you know, I got to go through the call. Haven't gone through the call okay. yet. Uh, I like Home Depot, but Home Depot's val uh, valued as a housing play, right. not as a retailer. And remember, so rates up. Retail. Right. Rates retail. up, higher mortgage rates, an additional cost on top of these high home prices, which are starting to come down a little bit. And it is something we do hope Jerome Powell will pay attention yes. to and step back a little bit. All right, Jim, that pretty much wraps up everything. I want to tell you, is there anything else? Nope, that's it. We'll okay. save the rest for the uh, people who are going to be on our conference call tomorrow. There you have it. It's tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. at actionalertsplus.com. I'm Zephim with the street.com. Jim, thank you so much. Thank you.